In this video, we got another episode of the series where I rate and improve your guys' teams. You guys will send me your teams on Twitter at x 7 tanak and I'll give you guys my best suggestions and my rating 1 through 10. Also, if you guys want to comment down below on the YouTube video, let me know what your guys' team's looking like right now, and let me know how much MT you guys have, and I'll give you guys my best suggestions and my rating 1 through 10. So if you guys want to comment that down below, you guys obviously can as well. But first team here of the video comes in from Corey, and he's got 550,000 MT, and he will get Dr. J this season as well. So first shooting guard position, will this assume he gets Dr. J? Because it's obviously really easy to get trophy case cards now so overall i think his team is pretty good i would say probably a 9 out of 10 squad maybe 8.5 i'm really not the biggest fan of anthony davis at the center position so first thing i would do is probably move ad to your backup four and then move cream to your backup five i just think that's a lot better with obviously having taller centers and taller power forwards in my team right now you can sell george mike and move ad to the power forward spot and then cream to the backup center for your small four position honestly i would get joe smith or i would use joe smith over a guy like bailey hell i do think he's a decent amount better i mean that joe smith card is honestly one of the best most underrated cards in my team right now so for me that's who your small forwards would be since you're nice pal and joe smith your power forwards could be Giannis and ad and then your centers will be d rob and, and kareem for point guards i do like shane penny hardaway but i think getting a guy like don ole if you like using kind of shorter point guards could be really could be really good and i think a lot better than a guy like shay so for me i would look to get a guy like don ole and then probably move don ole to the back of point guard and start penny hardaway next the guys like has Russell and Cincy Nice Pal. Looking at the next team here, though, coming in from Adam, he's got 3.3 million MT. Hakeem is unauctionable, and he's thinking about selling D Rob and locking in for Tim Thomas after getting DeRozan from Unlimited. So Cream would start at center for him. So he's gonna get maybe get center, uh, maybe get Cream for center and Tim Thomas as well. And he's looking for a backup point guard below 100,000 MT to replace Donovan Mitchell. Now I do like Donovan Mitchell, but if you want to replace him, I'll give you a suggestion for that. But overall, the team right now, I would say is probably an 8.5 out of 10. Definitely a very solid squad. I mean. I mean, you could definitely make a lot of improvements i would say if you have 3.3 million mt there is no reason to sell david robinson even if you want to lock in for tim thomas because let's say you already have you know or let's you have nobody in the pioneer set and you want to get cream and damar to obviously lock in for tim thomas if you get damar for free basically then cream's only going to be about what 200,000 mt let's say this set is about like 350,000 mt to lock in for i mean now you still have 3 million mt you have tim thomas you have cream for your backup center i wouldn't really recommend selling d rob i would just get tim thomas Thomas, play him at the starting small forward spot, get uh, Kareem, play him at the backup center over a guy like Hakeem, and then for the rest of your squad, I would say for power forward, either get a guy like Bob Nedelecki, or a guy like, uh, get a guy like Bob Nedelecki, or get a guy like Dolph Shays for Bam and Abayo. For small forward, you obviously have Tim Tar uh, Tim Thomas starting. Off the bench, I would look to get either Tiz of Season Braun, or the uh, Jared, uh, not Jared Wallace, Tiz of Season Braun, or Cincinnati's pal as well for the backup small forward position. For your shooting guard spot, I mean, if you want to spend a decent amount of MT, I think a guy like, you know, Terry Dishinger, Kazi Russell could definitely be a lot better than Ricky Davis and Luol Deng. And then for point guard, I mean, if you want 100,000 MT or below, I would probably just get Penny Hardaway. I think he's about 100,000 MT and in my opinion, probably better than a guy like Donovan Mitchell. But overall, squ a squad is obviously really, really good. Next team here comes in from Hero. He's sitting on 800,000 MT and he's only got this starting lineup. So he pretty much needs me to do a whole revamp for his squad. What I would do first off is just move everybody to the bench. And then honestly, you're probably just going to scrap every everybody on this team to be honest if you want to spend all of your mt but for now let's just move them all to the bench and talk about a starting lineup so for your starting point guard i would go ahead and get don ole he's about 125,000 mt and he will be your starting point guard now for your starting shooting guard we'll keep it cheap we'll get luol dang for the starting shooting guard position he's about 30,000 mt gonna be a really good six foot nine shooting guard next to a guy like don ole for your small four position there's a couple different options i would say probably either between cincinnati's powell or lebron the tis the season lebron at the starting small four position you can decide which small forward you want to go with and then i probably just play the other one off the bench for power forwards if you want to go super expensive you could probably go actually not even expensive i would go Dolph shays for your starting power forward position and then for your backup power forward you could probably get a guy like thorough bailey or wayne Embry, depending on who you prefer and then for your center position get david robinson and then get cream as well if you don't want to get cream you can get hakeem because hakeem has dropped a lot in price because he's the clutch i'm online rewards so you can take those suggestions and then move all these cards to the bench that'll be the starting lineup and then for the backup shooting guard position i probably get a guy like Ricky Davis to go alongside Lonzo Ball because Lonzo's not the greatest offensive point guard so having him next to a guy like Ricky Davis would obviously help a lot so that's what I do for your squad if you you know if you listen you'll understand what I'm talking about obviously it's probably a little bit easier if I could show you but 
I think you do understand, you know, what to run on the starting lineup and then who to run on the bench as well. Next team here comes in from Tay. He's got about a 230,000 MT and a very good looking squad. I mean, Penny Hardaway, Kobe, Paul George, AD, and Shaq definitely wouldn't be my, you know, preferable starting lineup, but it's definitely very solid. I would say this team's bench is decent as well. I would say probably another 8.5 out of 10 squad. For me, I'm not really the biggest fan of Shaq. I do see he's unauctionable though, so obviously got to keep him on the lineup. I would say for me, I would get rid of Paul George, even though he's unauctionable. I mean, Cincinnati's pal or LeBron are much better than Paul George. I like Jared Wallace off the bench. So if you just want to get one of either LeBron or Cincy, I would definitely recommend that for the small four position. I like your shooting guards, even the Kobe being, you know, the transcendent one, obviously very similar to the Tizzle season. And then I do think your point guards are very good as well. And I do like your power forwards a decent amount. I mean, you can maybe look to get Dolph Shays, but the position I would really focus on is getting a better center. Whether you want to go for Hakeem, you want to go for Kristaps, even if you want to go for D-Rob, that really, you know, comes down to you. For me, I'd say for like fitting in your MT range, I would say probably get Cincinnati's pal for the small four position, have Jared Walls off the bench, and then for your backup center, I would look to maybe afford D Rob if possible. But if not, just get yourself a Chris Ops Porzingis. He is going to be very a uh, very good next to a guy like Dwight Howard. But overall, a very good looking squad. And then next team here coming in from Kevin, he's got about eight, about six hundred thousand MT, I should say, and another very good squad. I'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. I think the best team we talked about in the video so far is a very good team. Like your point guards, like your shooting guards. I like LeBron once again. I would try to upgrade that backup small four position whether you want to go get a guy like Cincy Powell or you want to spend a little bit more MT and go after a guy like Zion Williamson obviously that would cost pretty much the whole MT budget but you could definitely do that as well start Zion and then have LeBron off the bench but if you want to go for cheap just get Cincy Nice Powell over Paul George for your power forwards I like AD and I like Sean Kemp if you wanted to get Dolph Shays over AD as well I think that definitely could be an upgrade for me next to a guy like D-Rob you know D-Rob's already got you know some good high great defense if you have a guy like Dolph Shays he's going to be really nice for the starting lineup so what I'd recommend is get Dolph Shays over Anthony Davis. And then for your center position, I like Tim Duncan off the bench next to a guy like Sean Kemp. So honestly, my only suggestion would be get rid of Paul George, get Cincinnati's Powell. And then for your power forward position, get rid of AD and get yourself a Dolph Shays. And the next team here comes in from Zach. He's on current J's, but a 50,000 MT worth of shoe boost selling still. And he's grinding for Tim Thomas. So he's got, let's say about 300,000 MT to spend on his squad. Another very decent team. I remember, I'm not really the biggest fan of Steve Francis. Larry Bird is obviously pretty solid. James Ward these a little bit questionable so i would say this team's probably like an 8 out of 10 maybe 8.5 because you do have guys like dr j for me though starting lineup wise i would keep everybody in the starting lineup except for james worthy i know i'm suggesting the same couple players but i mean they're just the best positions for their value especially at the small four position either the tis a season lebron for about 150,000 mt or since you nice pal for about 40,000 mt whoever you prefer play them over james worthy for me though for this starting lineup i'd probably say go lebron james because he's going to give you a little bit more height and a little bit more defense pairing pairing alongside a guy like Sean Kemp and Kristaps as well and then for your bench definitely get a better backup point guard whether that's Shea Penny Hardaway Don Ole a bunch of good options you can really pick between those three guys Shea Penny and Don Ole for your shooting guard I like Ricky Davis Larry Bird I mean, I think you could upgrade, like get LeBron and Cincy for these small four positions. I do think Cincy and Bron are way better than Larry Bird. But if you want to use if you want to use Bird because you grind it for him, that obviously does make sense. And then I do like your power forward and your center off the bench. So overall, for me, I would just say upgrade the backup point guard and then upgrade your starting small forward. And then guys, last team here of the video comes in from B, uh, BM. He's got 400,000 MT and he's grinding for AD currently. So let's say you have Anthony Davis on your squad. I would say your team is probably an 8.5, maybe 9 out of 10. A very good squad all around. I mean, you got good point guards good shooting guards good small forwards good power forwards and a good center for me your only real you know upgrade you need is getting a back, better backup center whether you want to go for kareem you want to go for hakeem i think those would, are Kristaps. i would say if you want to go budget go Kristaps. if you want to spend a decent amount of mt i would go ahead and get yourself a guy like cream and then for the power forward position i would definitely look to get a guy like Dolph shays for the backup four or go after a guy like bob nitalecki bob's a lot more expensive than Dolph shays but he is a decent amount better as well for me though that's really the only suggestion is upgrading your backup power forward and upgrading your backup center but let me let me know in the comment section down below like i said earlier guys let me know what team well, let me know what team you guys are rocking right now and let me know you know how much mt you guys have and i'll give you guys my best suggestions and my rating one through ten but hopefully you guys enjoy the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace